Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raut Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we need to find out the equation of a circle passing through 4, 1 and 6, 5 and its center lies on 4x plus 3y minus 24 equal to 0. Okay. Now, stay with me until then. I am going to make it easy for you. Fine. First, let us take the two points as A and B. Okay. A is 4, 1 and B is 6, 5. Now, next, next. I am going to take the equation of circle as standard one x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Okay, now see. Since the circle equation is this, these two points lie on the circle. Okay, these two points lie on the circle. That's what they have given. Fine. So basically, these two points satisfy the circle. So since circle, circle passes through a4, comma 1, if this is the case, what will happen? Like instead of x and y here, you see, instead of x and y, I can substitute 4 and 1. Okay, that is totally okay. Now see. 4 square plus 1 square plus 2g into 4 plus 2f into 1 plus c equal to 0. All good. Now, what is 4 square? It is 16. And what is 1 square? It is 1. And 2g into 4 is nothing but 8g. 2f into 1 is 2f plus c. All good. 16 plus 1 is 17. 17 plus 8g plus 2f plus c equal to 0. Mark it as equation 1. Chalo. Now, now the circle passes through b 6 comma 5 also. The circle passes through b 6 comma 5 also. If that is the case, circle passes through b 6 comma 5. In the same equation, Instead of x, y, we can replace, we can use 6 and 5. So, 6 square plus 5 square plus 2g into 6 plus 2f into 5 plus c. Okay. Shallo. Now, 6 square is nothing but 36 and 5 square is 25 and 12g 10f plus c equal to 0. Next, I'm going to get 61 plus 12g. Plus. All good. Shallo. Now, this is what we have. Now, next, if you remember, if you remember, it is given that the center of the circle lies on some line, okay, 4x plus 3y minus 24, some, some line it is given, equal, equal to 0, okay. Now, how can we use that condition? I use the first two points. How can I use the third condition? It's very simple, fine. How to use it is, the center of, see, we took our circle equation as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus equal to 0. What is the center of this circle? The center of this circle is nothing but minus g comma minus f. Okay. Now they are saying that this center lies on center lies on 4x plus 3 by minus 24 equal to 0. What is our center minus g minus f? That means minus g minus f lies on this straight line. Minus g minus f satisfies this equation. So in place of x and y, you can use minus g and minus f. That is totally okay. So 4 into minus g plus 3 into minus f minus 24 equal to 0. Fine. So minus 4g minus 3f minus 24. Equation is not looking that good, right? So many minus, so much negative. Already so much negativity is there and negativity in question also. Hey, how? So let us take, remove this negativity. How? Let us take negativity common. Minus of 4g plus 3f plus 24 equal to 0. Okay, I took minus common. Now send that minus to the right side. So 0 by minus 1 is nothing but just 0. So I'll get 4g plus 3f plus 24 equal to 0. Mark it as your equation 3. All good. Chalo, now next. How to get another equation? I mean, here you see there is no C. I want another equation without any C. How to get it? Just simple thing. Just do equation 2 minus equation 1. This is my equation 2 and equation 1, 1 was before. If you will just subtract those two, what I am going to get it is an equation without C. Okay. Now just subtract. Okay. So 2 is this, 1 is this and let's subtract. Now see, 61 minus 17. Okay, now see, there is a minus sign. Okay, each one sign in this will change. Be aware. Okay, don't just add. Okay, but I'm subtracting. Okay, so that C and C would get cancelled. Now see, what is 61 minus 17? It is 44. What is 12G minus 8G? 4G. And what is 10F minus 2F? 8F. C minus C, gone. Okay, now write it in the standard form. Standard form is like 4G plus 8F plus 44 equal to 0. All good. Now next. The numbers are a little weak. Can we small like can we like reduce the numbers? Yes, we can take something common here. What we can take four common, you see, uh, because four is there, eight is there, 44. In all of them, four is there. So if you'll take four common, I'll get g plus uh, four, eight is nothing but four into two. So four is inside to common here, two, uh, two is left out. 44 is nothing but four into 11. Since I took four common, 11 is left out here. Now send the four here. Uh, send the 4 to the right side. So, 0 by 4 is nothing but 0. So, g plus 2f plus 11 equal to 0. Mark it as equation 4. Now, all good. I got my equation 3. I got my equation 4. Now, all that's left is to solve the both of them. How to solve it? The simple method I'm using it. You could use some other method. You could use substitution method. You could use substitution. You could use elimination method. That is up to you. But it is a common method which I'm using. 
for all my videos and i felt students also prefer feel that this is easy what is that method please check it out so write gf1 uh i'm sure you might know it first write the coefficient of f okay what is the coefficient of f3 next 24 next 4 and then again 3 okay now in the second equation what is the coefficient of f it is 2 so 2 11 1 and 2 again okay now what i get g by 3 into 11 is 33 minus 2 into 24 is 48 so g by 33 minus 48 okay 3 into 11 is 33 and 2 into 24 is 48 so g by 33 minus 48 is equal to f by 24 into 1 is 24 minus 11 into 4 is 44 so 24 f by 24 minus 44 is equal to 1 by 4 2s are 8 minus 1 3s are 3 so 1 by 8 minus 3 all good chalo now what is 33 minus 48 it is minus 15 what is 24 minus 44 it is minus 20 and what is 8 minus 3 it is 5 so g by minus 15 is equal to f by minus 20 is equal to 1 by 5 all good the same thing i just wrote it as it is now see since this is like a equal to b equal to c something of that form so i could take i could take a equal to c ones and then b equal to c ones i can take g by minus 15 is equal to 1 by 5 ones that is all good that is totally okay next i can take f by minus 20 is equal to 1 by 5 that is also totally okay fine so that's why i took them individually so that i could get g and f okay my ultimate purpose is to get g f and c for that purpose i'm doing this now send this minus 15 here g will be minus 15 by 5 and f will be send this minus 20 here f by f will be minus 20 by 5 so 5 ones are 5 threes are g, and minus is there don't forget that g is minus 3 and f is 5 ones are 5 fours are f is minus 3 Chalo, hooray, we got G and F. What's remaining? C. Now, how to get that? Just substitute it in any one of, in any equation from the beginning, like equation 1 or equation 2. What was equation 1 from equation 1? 17 plus 8G plus 2F plus e equal to 0. If you observe, we already know what is G and what is F. The only thing that is left out is C. The left out is C. So, just find it out. 17 plus 8 into minus 3G is minus 3 and F is minus 4. Substitute it. So, 17 minus 24 minus 8 plus C equal to 0. Plus 2 into minus 4 is minus 8. Okay. Now, next. What is 17 minus 24? It is minus 7. Okay. 17 minus 24 is minus 7. And minus 7. Okay. Minus 7 minus 8 is minus 15. So, minus 15 plus C is 0. Okay. Uh, now, send this minus 15 to the other side. So, C will be 15. Yahoo. Ultimately, like we got G, F and C. Now, what are you waiting for? Just substitute them in the original equation and then you can get the equation of the circle. Let's get on to it. The required equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2 into in place of g i wrote minus x minus 3 into x plus 2 into in place of f i wrote minus 4 into y and then c is 15 plus 15. So, x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y plus 15 is equal to 0. Thank you very much for staying with me up till now. Uh, in not just this question, I made other questions related to circles as well. You can check out the description for other playlists as well. Circles playlist and other playlists like theory of equations and you know complex numbers. Please do check them out. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you.